Hello everyone, welcome back to my page, Life with Arike. Uh, if you are the kind of person watching me for the first time from anywhere you are watching me from, I want to say welcome to this page and welcome to this beautiful family. So today's recipe, I'm going to be sharing with you how I, I prepared this recipe called White Moi Moi and it's called Ikuru in my native language. So this um, recipe, I'm going to be dedicating this recipe to my uh, late grandmother. She passed now. This is one of my favorite recipe that she used to make for me. And this is one of my native or local recipe that I really love so much. So it's a very delicious recipe. And just follow the process. You're going to love it. And it's so delicious. So we're going to get it started and uh, we're going to get the work done. And also, I'm going to be showing you how I prepare the um, steel together with the white moi moi. And you know, never mind if I'm going to be explaining some of the process of this video in my native language because the recipe is in local recipe or is in uh, native food. So I would love to explain some of them with my own motherland language so let's get it started and let's make the food so right now i'm going to go ahead and roughly chop my pepper so in my bowl i have my bell peppers i have some red onion ginger garlic and a little bit of habanero you can add uh, spices as much as you can tolerate so the peppers are roughly chopped so I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to be using banana leaf for this recipe. You can use a bowl and you know back in my country they have a specific leaf that they used to use for this recipe but I didn't have that but I'm so lucky I found some banana leaf so I'm going to be using some banana leaf. Right now I'm just trying to steam the banana leaf to secure the leaf from tearing apart and at the same time I'm sterilizing the leaf the leaf before using it so um that is what i'm doing with the banana leaf so the uh the steel is very important with this recipe because it's like the base to make the um my white moi moi so i had my palm oil in my cooking pot if you don't have palm oil you can use a uh, vegetable oil but trust me palm oil is highly recommended so i have my low cost bean which is iru woro i had my uh uh, dry fish. I have my red um, shrimp. I had my chopped onion, and I'm also uh, right. So right now I'm gonna be adding my chopped onion into my palm oil. You can see you can use both palm oil and vegetable oil together. That's okay. It's up to you. So I had my locust beans, which is iru woro. So I tried to mix everything together and let it fry for about two three minutes. I had my dry fish and my um, red shrimp so for the protein I'm gonna be using some whitening fish either I debone the fish I had into the um, oil to let it fry so that it's gonna give me uh, the flavor of the fish and the dry fish that is the reason why I have to go through the process so I scrub it out from the oil then I had my chopped roughly chopped peppers so for the seasoning I'm gonna be using some black pepper salt uh, chicken brion, maggi cube, and add everything together into the stew. So don't worry, you can use any kind of seasoning you have. So I just add everything together, keep it covered, and continue stirring for about um, 15 minutes. Then after that, I had my whitening fish that I've already scrubbed out from the um, oil. I had it into the stew. I had everything together, and I'm going to let them cook together for about... 10 to 15 minutes again so for the ekuru i'm going to be using the honey beans which is a wild loni so i peeled the back of the beans you see it's completely peeled and they look nice and whitish color so after that i soak the beans in the water for about 30 minutes to give me a little bit uh, to make it a little bit softer so for the puree i'm going to be using my mini blender to blend the beans in a completely pureed form. Try to blend the, uh, the beans completely pureed, no lumps. So I went ahead, I blend my um, 
our beans so after uh, i'm done blending the beans i still don't get the perfect uh, consistencies that i want so i have to use my mixer to mix this so that it's going to give me like the fluff in it that i'm i am i am looking for so to get the fluffiness i have to get all the hair out from the uh, beans puree and this is how they should look like or this is how it should look like you can see the big difference the fluffiness is there so um that is for the uh, beans because this is gonna make if you don't really do this process it's not gonna give you a good result so in my bowl in my pot i had some water then i put my um splatter um in the in the pot so that it's gonna separate the water from the uh, moi moi. So this process is very important too because if you just fold your moi moi or just wrap your moi moi and just put it in the pot like that, it's going to sink. The water is going to penetrate into the moi moi. So you have to put something at the bottom or you can use a steamer at the bottom to separate the water from the moi moi. So I'm going to be doing this two method. First, I'm using a bowl. I put some oil to spray uh, the bowl so that it's not going to make my uh, my ikuru stick. So after that, I put it in the bowl, I put a plastic bag on top to avoid the water to get into the bowl, then I keep it covered, set it aside. So for the leaf, you can see I'm going to make like a cone shape. So in the middle of the cone, that is when I'm going to be scooping the uh, white moi moi inside. You can see I'm using my hand to do that. Yele long ni, we so right now I'm just trying to do that right now. So I create like a little bit hole in the in the leaf, like a cone. Then after that I scrub the uh, the puree uh, uh, beans into the into the uh, banana leaf. Then as after that I fold the edge and I flip it back to to give me like this shape. You can see the way I'm doing it. So just flip it. To the back you know do the first one then after that flip it to the back create a cone in the middle and just you know after that you're going to fold the hedge from the uh moi moi from splashing or from leaking you secure the head then after that you're going to flip it back so you see, just scrub any amount. Don't scrub too much so that it's not going to be leaking in the water. So be careful when you are doing that. So after that, I'm just going to put everything aside. And after that, when I'm done wrapping, I put everything into my pots. Add some water and keep it covered. And after that, you want it to be steam. You can see I put the uh, parchment paper on top of it to give me the steam. Um because I, I need the uh, uh, the heat to cook this moi moi. So I said it as I'm going to be cooking that for about um, 40 minutes to one hour. So after that, I went back to my stew. I check it. Everything looked good. You can see the way they look. And I'm just going to set it aside until the um, ikuru is ready. So if you are watching me for the first time, please let me know what you think about this recipe. Leave your comments and don't forget to click the notification bell. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and on YouTube, like I said. So that is that. So let's go back to the recipe. The moi moi has been cooking for about 40 minutes. So I'm just trying to check. You can see the color of the leaf. They turn like a brownish color. That is how one of the things that will let you know if your um, ikuru is ready. You can see and, and this is how they should look like. Or you can just use like um, a knife or toothpick to dip into the moi moi to see if they stick. Um, that means it's not ready. So right now I put my white moi moi in the, in the plate. So I, I, I sprinkle a little bit of salt. It's optional. But that is the way my grandmother used to do it. So if you don't want to do that, you can skip that part. And you just scrape your steel on the side and you're good to go. Hmm, enjoy. And so give it a try. Let me know about what you think about this recipe. And leave your comments if you're going to give it a try. 
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, delicious food. And thank you for now. So before I leave, what is next? Let's enjoy this meal together. And uh, I don't want to be like I'm too greedy. Let's enjoy together. I love you guys. Bye.